$1,400 fourth stimulus check update specifically focused on Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, Low Income, No Income, Seniors, Older Adults, and People with Disabilities. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, as of recently, we've had some pretty big changes and some of you here in the community have been reaching out asking for the latest updates on where we currently stand and what is going on with some type of highly focused payment for all the beneficiaries I mentioned just a few seconds ago. So that's what I want to talk about right here in the video. So let's get into it and talk about what is currently going on and bring everybody up to speed as far as where we currently stand. Let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as I am your one and only daily advocate and I'm watching everything very, very closely, breaking it all down into these short videos, which I deliver a couple times throughout the day so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now as things are changing very rapidly and as we continue to get all these big announcements out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, Congress, and anybody else out there of high influence. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be, including all the beneficiaries at the beginning of this video. It's a very, very important group of people. And as I've said before, it is my dedication and commitment to be here for you in any way that I possibly can. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day as it's my dedication and my commitment, and I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about a highly focused $1,400 fourth stimulus check, where we currently stand, what is going on with this, and answering all the questions that many of you have been reaching out with down in the comments section as of recently. All right, so... Let's talk about where we currently stand. Now that the last reconciliation bill, the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is passed, it's done, it's over. Now what? Where do we go from here? And what's going on with all these latest updates that we've been seeing lately? So here's what it comes down to. Oh, and one quick side note, I wanna throw this out there from the very beginning. As of right now, a fourth stimulus check, whether it is in the amount of $1,000, $500, $1,400, $2,000, or $1 billion has not been approved yet, okay? I want to make that very clear from the very start here so that we're all on the same page. But now let's talk about it and discuss where do we currently stand? Is something like this actually going to happen or is Congress just not going to do anything for us? That's a really good question. Let's try to assess the situation as far as where we currently stand, what Congress has on their plate between now and the end of the year, and where do we currently go from here? These are some great questions. So let's talk about the details here. All right, so it's all going to come down to a few different factors. I want to lay this out for you because there's so many different moving parts right now. And honestly, it all comes down to a variety of different things. If any one of these kind of goes reverse, if any one of these things derails, it's possibly going to bring down the whole thing. And we got to watch the whole situation very closely. Number one, inflation remains to be one of the hot ticket items these days, right? So we need to watch this uh, very, very closely. And again, I know that you might be thinking, okay, what does a stimulus check have to do with inflation? Well, it's, it's a very important aspect because here's why. Some people out there are saying, if we issue another stimulus check right now, it's just going to cause more inflation. Well, depends. The answer totally depends. If a stimulus check is sent out to uh, 282 million people, like what they did with the last three checks, then yeah, of course, it's going to cause a ton more inflation. However, that's not really what we're talking about here. We're talking about a highly focused check of $1,400 going out to about maybe 30 million, 40 million, maybe 50 million tops people. So at the end of the day, is a $1,400 check really going to spur that much more inflation? If we're to go out to say 30 million people when the population is say 330 million people in this country, right? It's a small fraction. It's like one tenth of the population in this country. So when it comes down to it that way, is it really going to spur that much more inflation? I mean, again, that can be debated at some point in the future, but realistically, probably not much, maybe a teeny tiny bit, but not nearly as much as what a $1,400 check going out to nearly 300 million people would actually do. That would cause massive inflation again, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to avoid that. However, we are talking about right now in this video, we are talking about a highly focused check, like I said in the very opening line of this video, right? So that's what we're talking about here in this video. So when it comes down to it, we need to watch inflation. This is going to be a very, very important metric going forward. So keep that on your little checklist. 
Next, we need to watch the Federal Reserve. What is the Federal Reserve going to do about interest rates? What are they going to do about inflation? Are they going to continue raising interest rates very aggressively? Are they going to maybe tame it down a little bit? Are they going to go even more aggressive, 100 basis points next meeting? Or are they going to tame it down a little bit more? These are some very good questions that we need to continue watching. The only people that know this are basically the Federal Reserve, and they're going to probably assess the situation as they continue moving forward. So again, that's number two. Write that on your checklist as well. Watch the Federal Reserve. But realistically, you don't need to watch it. I will watch it for you, and I'll bring you all the updates in these short videos so you can stay updated with what the Federal Reserve is doing, along with inflation and what's going on there. Next, we'll need to continue watching also very closely what is going on with interest rates, again, out of the Federal Reserve, and we'll need to watch the job market. This is a very, very important one. Just like inflation, inflation is uh, very high on the priority list. Next on the priority list, is the job market. The job market is very, very important. So if we were to kind of narrow all these down in importance, it'd be these top three items. Number one, jobs. Number two, the Federal Reserve. Number three, inflation. Um, that's pretty much it. Those three are by far the most important aspects that we need to watch right now. All right, so... When I'm talking about job the market, what I'm talking about is the first Friday of every single month, we get the uh, the non-farm payroll number that comes out for the previous month. Now, this is a very important metric because it shows what is the unemployment rate doing? Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it just plateaued and just sitting sideways month after month? So that's something we'll need to watch for uh, going forward as well. Is the, the unemployment rate going up? Uh, there's something else we need to watch. Next, we also need to continue watching with the jobs number, how many people are getting new jobs? Like how many jobs are being created? Are jobs being lost? What's going on with the monthly uh, non-farm payroll number that is released every Friday, or sorry, the first Friday of the month, just once per month. So we'll have to watch that very closely as well. On a weekly basis, every Thursday morning, we do get the initial jobless claim number. Now, that is the number that shows us how many new people applied for unemployment benefits the previous week. And again, all of these readings kind of give us a better glimpse into what we could possibly see with the jobs number uh, the first Friday of the month. Again, we'll have to watch all this very closely. As of right now, we've been seeing a lot of different large corporations coming out right now, laying off hundreds or even thousands of people. For example, uh, Walmart laid off 200 of their corporate employees. Robinhood, the trading platform, they're laying off 23% of their employees. I mean, the list goes on and on of all these different companies that are laying off hundreds or thousands of people, right? So again, we got to watch all this stuff very closely because all this is going to translate into what's going on with the real economy. As we continue to see the economy start to contract as a result of people losing their jobs, as a result of inflation, as a result of the Federal Reserve jacking up interest rates, bringing down the economy intentionally. We'll have to see. Another thing that we need to watch very closely as well is what happens to this economy? Does it just kind of go down a little bit and then just kind of plateau again and just kind of oscillate around? Or does it collapse like the rug was pulled off from underneath it? Or maybe does it just dip down a little bit, kind of plateau around for a little bit and then bounce right back? Again, all of this is yet to be seen. We don't quite know yet because the Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates so fast right now that when uh, all this actually comes home to roost, like I've said before in other videos, that's when we're really going to see the major kind of impacts on the economy. Considering the Federal Reserve is still aggressively raising rates right now, the worst is yet to come. Again, I don't want to be a pessimist. I don't want to come here and say, oh, the sky is falling. Nobody likes those type of people. I'm not going to be here to say that. I'm just simply saying this whole situation with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates at the rate that they are right now is not really sustainable, okay? It's not necessarily a good thing because here's the thing. It's such a slow moving metric that as they continue to raise like this very aggressively, all of a sudden, something's gonna get whacked really hard and it's gonna be like, oh wait, the Federal Reserve overdid it. Are we shocked? No, we're not shocked at all because that's typically how it works. They over, they go too much on the upside and they go way too much on the downsides. So we'll need to continue watching the Federal Reserve to see, did they go too much? Did they go too little? Or where do we currently sit? And what is their policy currently doing with the economy? So these are by far the most important metrics. If we do see this economy fall off a cliff and we see a major contraction in this economy, then what do they do to bring it back? The same old thing every single time. 
They print a bunch of money with what they call quantitative easing. They start to cut interest rates that they just jacked up here over the last several months. And then all of a sudden they pump a bunch of money out. And just like I've said before in other videos, every single recession that we've seen over the last 21 years have all produced stimulus checks. And again, right now it's kind of interesting because technically, if you look at the technical definition of a recession, we are technically in a recession right now. But kind of funny that all of a sudden all these politicians and everybody's coming out saying, oh no, we're not in a recession. And they're trying to change the definition. I'm sorry, this is the definition. The technical definition is two consecutive quarters of GDP negative growth, right? Well, as a result of that, that's exactly what we've seen. Q1 of 2022 was negative 1.6%. Q2 of 2022 was down 9 tenths of 1%. That to us and the technical definition of a recession is, is that, that what we're, that's what we're in right now, is a technical recession. Two negative quarters, back-to-back -back GDP. Boom, that's what it is, okay? But again, all these politicians and people are coming out saying, we're not in a recession because we don't have all these other factors. Okay, well, the technical definition is exactly what I just laid out for you. So again, We'll have to continue watching this closely and see at what point do they recognize that maybe the economy really isn't in recession and I don't know, maybe they should do something about it. Or are they just gonna continue to deny forever that the, that the economy is actually in a recession? Again, something else we'll have to watch too is cl uh, very closely because like I said before, Every single recession over the last 21 years has brought stimulus checks. If they recognize that we're in a recession right now, and if this recession continues to deepen, then guess what? Well, history would tell us that it would provide additional stimulus checks, right? Anyway, there's a lot of different moving parts here, but I hope this one kind of gives you a better understanding of where we currently stand right now. And again, just to be uh, totally clear and to put us all on the same page here so we have full clarity of what is really going on, a fourth stimulus check has not been approved yet as of right now. Will one bun be approved? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. I have no idea what Congress is going to do going forward. It's all gonna come down to these uh, factors and these different elements that I laid out for you right here in this video. These are all gonna be very, very important that we need to watch very closely going forward because it's all gonna be the catalyst between another stimulus check or a, no, a whole lot of nothing, right? It all comes down to these catalysts and these economic pieces of information that I brought to you in this video. That's what it all comes down to. So anyway, hope this answers your questions. Hope this gives you a better perspective on what's really going on right now and the likelihood of additional stimulus checks, if there's going to be one, a fourth check, anything like this. Anyway, hope this gun gives you better ideas as far as what's going on. Either way, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos right here on the channel. And of course, feel free to share them with your friends, family, and social media as well. Until next time, please have a nice one. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next video. I'll see you for now. See ya.